In July 2020 this year, we visited Banff. We took a boat ride on Lake Minnewanka. Stick around and find out how we were able to book last minute campsites. And here's our little campsite. Different black bears to the campground yesterday afternoon. Oh, wow. This Cranking. Time for me to shut the gate. Keep watching you when you leave. Keep hoping you feel in my right waiting for me. Ray right here. The distance between Calgary and Banff is 127 kilometers, and the drive is approximately one and a half hours on the Trans Canada Highway. Pretty impressive to come over that little hill and We were able to book last minute reservations on a weekday by leaving on a Thursday and doing the following. Number one, we were flexible on the campground we could stay at. Number two, we were ready to move to another campsite each day. And finally, we were willing to move to another campground if we had to. So this will print off uh, both of your permits for your stay, but please do still check in at Village One when you stop in, and then they'll uh, reprint okay. their side of things so that they know you're there. So you've uh, checked in with us. I'll give you that back. We have had quite a bit of wildlife in the area. We had a, uh, two different black bears to the campground yesterday afternoon oh, wow. and this morning. So just very important that food, garbage, anything with the smell, so that's dishes, dirty or clean. Uh, camp stoves, barbecues, everything like that. If you don't have eyes on it, it needs to be tucked away inside the vehicle. Okay. Um, make sure the puppy's on a leash at all times. You guys are going to be in Loop 8, Site I. There's a campground map here for you. Okay. You do have a fire permit with your reservation. So the first left as you head down past the kiosk here is the firewood pile. Um, so you can help yourself there. We do ask that fires are out 11 p.m. till 7 a.m. just in accordance with quiet hours. 
and uh, besides that, you're all set. Check out tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. from here. If you were heading straight over to Village 1 and your site was ready, um, you could check in most likely prior to the 2 p.m. check. -in. Okay. And besides that, you're all set. Okay, thank right. you. We need it. That thing is so handy for you little gaffers. We already got the fire started. So this is Two Jack Lake we're at tonight. And here's our little campsite. Supper from the Costco roasted chicken. Gluten-free pasta and Thai sweet style peanut sauce. Sit down, have a drink. Read the instructions. <laughs> This concludes craft time with Jeremy. <laughs> Pro tip, get a Leatherman. <laughs> That's an encampment. Is there a bear around or? Yeah. Is he? Yeah, in the small black bear. Oh yeah. Just uh, he's the uh, campground. That's where we were. Yeah. <laughs> That's where we were last <laughs> night actually. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> Yeah, this would be a nice place for a kayak. Walking around the point. <laughs> That's what there. they got a video of. You coming, Tia? You coming, baby? Okay. That Stewart Canyon hike is only 1.5 kilometers. We arrived in the Canadian Rockies, 95% of our mountain lakes were fishless. 
go see if we can get tickets on anything. What do you think, Tia? No, I know you went down. We're on a dock. Yeah. Are you good? Did you meet Fred? <laughs> Are you good? She's shaking a little bit, but she's okay. You can see something like that. So, um, this area used to be at the, the ocean. How old are those rocks? Big number, 300 million years old. That, that's very, very old the rocks. However, what can I make? This is a plain sedimentary rock. No. Many other tribes, people, indigenous people, they use rocks to make fire, okay? But from here, stony Nakota people are very unique. They put the rocks into the fire, like limestone, those rocks, so you know, on the lake shore you can see, this is one of them. Yeah? I just keep it, like I don't, I don't take this out of National Park, okay? So then, they make the hole, they dug the hole, on the, in the ground, they put the animal high so that water not soak into the soil. Then, finally, they put the heated the rocks into the water. You see? Oh, yeah, smoke a little bit coming up. Water just a boil. Hot the water, made. Um, Once these hot waters made, um, they made a tea with the hot water. for free to downtown Banff but then you have to pay to come back on it but it's been running what every half hour sure sure Great, that's like a sweet peanut butter sandwich. Mm -hmm. the... It's good. <laughs> we'll see. Would okay. you make it again? I would totally make it. Mine was bananas, it was yeah. delicious. And then with the butter on it. So. Mm. Yeah, it was good. What might add a little zing to this? What? A little maple syrup on top of it too. Oh no, that's like too sweet. Oh, that would be. Well, we have maple syrup in the uh, fridge. Yeah. But this is really good. Mm -hmm. so, I'd make it again. Eating in the campground.
On our return trip from Banff, we took a slightly more scenic route through Cochrane. The distance on this route is 134 kilometers and takes approximately one and three quarter hours. And of course, who doesn't want to stop in Cochrane for McKay's world famous ice cream? The destination is on your left, McKay's ice cream. Line up for ice cream. Hey, Jeremy. We still have to go around the corner and reach there. There we go. Okay, what did you get? I got a mint chocolate chip and a barn floor. Yeah. And I got cherry custard, which is delicious, and pina colada, which is really good too. That uh, Rice Krispies, Naboo. <laughs> Why are you eating them? You don't see this no COVID Krispies here. Don't judge me. What are you eating? <laughs> Chocolate? <laughs> yeah. No,